Hello, and welcome to another new running cast. Uh, as always, my name is Jono, and I have a special guest today, Pete from Oxford. Hi, Pete. Hi, I'm Pete from Oxford. <laughs> Glad to be here. Uh, and today we have uh, this is the first in a series of videos <clears throat> of footage from the Oxford Store Championships. So, uh, this was the choice of the games in the first round. Uh, on the left, we have Brendan, uh, re a reg Oxford regular and regular destroyer of Reading. Yes. Oh. <clears throat> and on the right, we have um, James B, who. Uh, so, this is actually a rematch of the final of the Reading Store Championship. Um, so, um, Brendan's playing Blue Sun uh, deck on the left, and James is playing Leela on the right. Yeah, Brendan's Blue Sun play is absolutely brutal. I have played against that deck many times, and I think I've beaten it once, and that was purely because I top decked the Flood of Agendas in R&D, and every other time I have lost. It is a grinding murder death kill machine. Oh, I think uh, he took, uh, didn't you say inspiration from James, uh, James's Blue Sun deck from uh, That's correct, yes. Um, and he pilots it very well. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, Brendan is a, an excellent pilot. My heart does sink when I when I see that he pops out the the blue sun, because yeah, my my win rate against it is horrendous. <laughs> uh, so it's a fairly standard first uh, turn from both sides. Um, double ice and hedge fund for Brendan, and uh, just setting up some economy for Leela. Um, Brendan now sets up uh, what could presumably be a scoring remote, <clears throat> and this was an upgrade in HQ. I wonder what that is. I guess it's Christian Grid, but uh, yes, know. it will almost certainly be Christian Grid. <laughs> Yeah. Turns off those account side things. <clears throat> it's really taxing to get rid of. Ouch. So um, uh, Lila without rig uh, makes speculative run on HQ. <clears throat> Hits a uh, firewall and speculative run on OMD as well. <clears throat> the Desperado makes uh, the Caduceus. Uh, Caduceus is a great ice in blue sun, by the way. Uh, Desperado makes Caduceus it's not quite so good because it traces are less of an issue. Oh, the Desperado is just a good card, right? Yeah, it's still pretty good. Um, I'm always wary of face checking <coughs> against Brendan's Blue Sun. He's got data pikes, which punish you for that early aggressive face checking. He bounces them back. Yeah, it's it's difficult. I found the best approach is to just play slow. That's strange. So I my own preference yeah. against Blue Sun is to is the opposite. Is oh, play okay. fast. Get your economy up. Play fast. Get your accesses and hope that you steal the agendas when they don't have <laughs> double punitives. By the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, there are only six agendas in Brendan's Blue Sunday. Yeah. There's the outrageous government contracts, and then another yeah, three. Take over. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're unlikely to find them. And uh, I guess Big Digs are mandatory. Yeah. It's, uh, 13 credits. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, the Blue Sun economy ticks over, um, picks up. Firewall and Rinsels on HQ could be the same ice. Um, a hedge fund on the credit. Um, no, nothing on the table for Leela really apart from Desperado. Um, so no clue yet what trick she's packing. Yeah, slow start. No fairies. Mm. Yeah, no fairy with, with the speculative run. You'd, I mean, you'd like to see that at least. That is. Just for yeah. safety. Even now though, that's become kind of kind of stale because of the grail ice you can't afford to if that's you see true. that they're running grail <clears throat> you can't true. just no, it's a killer yeah gotta slow down get some economy out and off you go and uh, there's no indication of what uh, influence is being spent uh, as well on either side um, you may know what Brendan spends his influence on <laughs> I won't ask and we may find out sure <laughs> So I think Archives is interesting, but um, these guys played, as I say, in the Reading Store Championship Final, and one, uh, James was playing a Gabe deck out there, actually. And one of the features was he definitely had a sneak door in that deck that took many victims. Uh, so uh, I think that's some clever playing of the opposition by Brendan. Uh, that may not be um, something he'd normally do. Although it's wise against all criminals. Yeah, oh, here comes the fairy. Um, Brendan sometimes leaves Archives undefended and he'll throw the two, three two, two three pointers in there oh, for then, if they use data yeah, sucker yeah then, okay i like that and That's you good. run that any punitives you it's <clears throat> that is if, baller yeah <laughs> it, it really is 
So, uh, an early steal for James. Uh, uh, Spectre nice. Maker's Eye used the, the ferry to get to the uh, Caduceus, and he took the Horisk Investment. Horisk Investment, by the way, is an amazing agenda for Blue Sun. It really it is. It just turns on the kill. Yep. Um, uh, so, James is now wondering if he will live through this turn. <laughs> Uh, nine it's, plays it's, 15. It's nine. likely that he will. Um, Brandon can bounce back to 18 credits here. Mm. No class creep. <clears throat> no, no protection. Yeah. Might have an I've had worse in hand, I guess. Um, I quite like that card, actually. It makes the kind of it, it, damage prevention. It would be a funky splash. A lot, game of it. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be a strange one, I guess, but... Here comes a bucket load of money. So Brandon. James survives, but at what cost? An oversight hour and a curtain wall is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> God, Brendan's so neat in his play. Look at him moving all those cards up. Lovely. Good work, Brendan. That's true. Uh, as, I, as I get more familiar with uh, these games, I start to notice players who are very untidy, <laughs> especially on the corpse side, very untidy play areas. Sure. Uh, and there are one or two in this tournament. No, may or may not highlight. <laughs> yeah. It's just an example of Brendan's methodical play. He's, click, he's uh, tracking his clicks. All his money's right there, front and center. And uh, here comes the curtain wall. So the curtain, yeah, the curtain wall comes back, of course. Um, a huge influx of money. 28 credits. So Blue Sun is yeah. just rich. Now the punitive is very much on the, on the table. As well as, you know, sea source into two scorches, yeah. which I'm guessing is an option. Yes. Uh, I think uh, Brendan is running a couple of sea scorches, uh, sea sources. Yeah, sea sources, yeah. It, it's a, yeah. a reasonable splash. <laughs> uh, it's worth mentioning um, that... Uh, when he stole the agenda, Leela actually forgot to trigger, uh, or James forgot to trigger Leela, I should say, and bounce some unresed thing. I'm not sure what he would have chosen. Oh, unresed dice on HQ, maybe, or the, the upgrade on HQ. I mean, I'm guessing he has at least one siphon in hand, or the means to play it. Yeah. No regret that. Jackson. So, while it is a splash, there's still technically no clue on what he's spending his influence on. <laughs> because everyone yeah, has that's, Jackson. <laughs> that's, not, that's not much of a splash. Yeah. Uh, so resource gathering for Leela. Mm. Two draws, sure gamble and a credit. Getting rid of your your, your doubles there. On the Desperado. So as Leela, what would you be thinking to do here? Um, Hammer R and D. Obviously, it depends what you have in your hand, but yeah. R and D is. Kind not wide open was well, okay. So Brendan Ice is it there? Uh, you know you can get into R and D at least yeah. you did um, for just some money. The tr the thing is the trace. I mean, if Brendan wanted, he could just keep you out. Sure. <laughs> He's got all the money in the world. Yeah. Um, I'd like to look on HQ. James doesn't know what that upgrade is, but I mean, Christian Grid is the, yeah, the kind of best. Uh, this is Brendan. It's not going to be Hoxie. It's not going to be some <laughs> janky upgrade. <laughs> No. Could be a caprice is not very likely either. No, it's a Christian So Christian Grid is, is the yeah, obvious choice. Absolutely. Truth. Turns off all those leg works. Um, yeah. Brenton hasn't scored yet, so you've got to be thinking he has agendas in hand. Uh, yeah, it's likely he has at least one. As you say, agendas are really rare in this deck. It's true. Um, I mean, that is an assumption I'm making. So there's a sneak door going in the bin. So that was a good ice, it turns out, on mm. archives uh, for Brendan. So, um, Jackson fires to return two hedge funds and oversight AI. Money. It's just, he, I, I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't need the money though, right? But the assumption is that he's going to use that remote for something now. Yeah. Well, we can see that he does have a punitive in, in hand. No protection still for Leela. Does Brendan put down a three-pointer and... Well, it's interesting. So he installed the remote, but he, he took two credits. He didn't advance it. So I don't know if this is a signal that... If he'd advanced it, you'd think he was moving Jackson to put in a, yeah. um, an agenda. I, I mean, I don't know what else he would have put in there. If I was James, I would still suspect it was an agenda. 
Um, it, the fact that he didn't want it maybe means that he doesn't think he's not thinking about scoring it. <laughs> maybe he wants James to steal it. And, Correct. Yeah, yes, and he's got he's got a lot of money. He does. Um, although James's economy is coming back. Uh, yeah. It's coming back as well. You, you need to keep parity. Yeah. Otherwise, he's still behind. Yeah. And remarkably, few cards on board. Goodness. Yeah, just the same old thing. Um, Make his eye, I think, is the only event of interest in. There we go. Um, Double advance. Um, yeah, so he, so he's not mm. to twice. Um, yeah, so it must be an agenda. I mean, or, it could be some crazy Grendel refinery uh, stuff. I don't know. I don't think Brendan runs them. What he does run, I don't Cerebral. think it's usually, usually relevant here, is Shattered Remains. Oh, yeah, so okay. Yeah, I like burn that. away. That's a good way than Consoles includes. and yeah. Plasgreets. Yeah, it, it can hurt. But what's he going to do? Is he going to go for it? No, he isn't. He's going to let Brendan score that. Possibly. So uh, it's an interesting decision to make against Leela, though. Um, convention states that you you score an agenda on your last click. But against Leela, it's good to leave one click. Sure. So that you can recover from whatever. Uh, or that's a Leela that remembers, of double course. Double ice. Two layers of ass on every yeah every central yeah because he'd leave HQ undefended if that got bounced back. Wow, Brendan is so yeah he's kind of baiting. Really interestingly, he um, does I not score. He restructured and advanced. Um, so I I like this. The assumption is it's a five three agenda, <clears throat> but I like this because it leaves him in position next turn mm. to advance it twice and score it, and then Lila, uh, Lila can do what she wants, yeah. whatever ice or whatever upgrade or whatever she sends back can go straight back down. Sure. And Le uh, Leela doesn't have to score it because Brendan's on no points at the moment. That's true. Um, the risk is it's a high risk investment. Um, and yeah. That would be beautiful <laughs> if it's a high risk. It Indeed is. it is. <laughs> Fantastic. That so really... uh, this time Leela does remember to fire, but the high risk investment mm. is. Okay. So obviously, with one click, Brendan just waggles his eyebrows, Could puts the card straight back down. Near 50 credits. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. When that card comes off, and it comes off surprisingly often, it is beautiful. I have double account siphoned Brendan before, scores that high risk event investment, and smashes himself straight up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, dangerous game now for Leela. Um, who is a uh, slow building rig? So the, the fairy's gone down and, and the corroder. Um, wow. So And she's got money, so she, and, and Katie uh, is also stacked. So. Mm. Could be time to think about a run. You need to be rich before you do it, I guess. Yeah. Especially against Blue Sun. <laughs> and especially think, with high risk investment. Yeah, I think Brendan's only running three pointers and government takeover, so yeah. he does need to score three agendas if he wants to win. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I think Brendan counts that as a as a non optimal play because he wants to murder you. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or his deck wants to murder you. Okay, so it looks like the rig is complete um, with Rex. Uh, so all three breaks on the table. Yep. Um, and with that money, James can be confident he can get in to any server. Mm. I mean, it doesn't pos have... possibly Kurtimals aside. Yeah, no, but... no multi-access yet. No, that's true. He, he does have the same old thing with the Maker's Eye in the bin. But that's, that's one shot. Mm. Here we go. So uh, another card in a row and advanced. Advanced once. Yeah. So he, he it must you. be an agenda. I mean, he, he's just trying to flag that James should be running this thing. Yeah. So it, the way he's playing suggests that uh, he's got the punitives yeah. in his hand. Okay. It's mm. another passport. I like uh, I like the central only breaker with uh, limited use. Uh, copy for you know remote runs. I quite like it. Is XJMU. I mean, so yeah. Rex, is, Rex is not ideal as a as a main sure. code breaker. Um, although I haven't said that there is obviously single use. So. Yeah, it's great for that early pressure. Not so great for. Oh, look at this. So um, it's Bad it's sort of second upgrade in HQ. I don't know what's going on there. Here, and here comes advanced the money. 
Okay, so yeah, Casey Jones pays out. Same old thing to a maker's oh, eye. As said, yeah, maker's eye. Data Pike's a bit, a bit late now, but yeah. So Passport beats Data Pike easily. So we ask some cards. Uh, so another side of AI, um, a mystery card, and the cleaners. Oh. Now I really don't like this decision from Leela. She bounces the card in the remote. She, the danger is immense. I, if it were me, I would have bounced one of the ice on the remote and then made a click for run on it. She's still got wow. loads of money. Yes, absolutely. I would. I, I personally, I think that's a really dangerous decision. He's assuming yeah. he's going to survive the next turn based on what he's got, but there's a high risk investment on the table if. Brendan has or draws punitives, then he's dead. Wow. <laughs> he's just dead. You'll note that there are actually two upgrades in HP. Yeah, I'm not sure what the second one would be. The second one is that uh, Wayland. Oh, a research that allows station. You to have okay, all right. seven cards in hand. Okay, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Because the, the punitives and the scorches tend to pile up. So this looks bad because Brendan is doing what I can only refer to as deadly accounting, yeah. <laughs> where he's very clearly counting everything. So, Iris can invest with the fires. So that's click one. This is it. Right. So 62 uh, credits. So Brendan goes up to a frankly insulting 62 credits <sighs> against Do we double punitive? James is 30. He's got the money for it um, yep. because the punitive, and I'm trying to remember now, is three costs, I think, and it's three. five strength. So you don't even need to quite double. Uh, and there's no link on the table for the runner. No plascretes. Uh, he oh. has more than three cards in hand, or at least three cards in I hand. I don't know if this video ends soon. But... <laughs> well, Pete, <laughs> I'm here to tell you. <laughs> this game is over. And it could have been so different. I just wish that James had yeah. not lilied that obvious agenda. Sure. Uh, I mean, who knows? It could have been a Shattered Remains or something. Look at Brendan. He's like a spider, toying it out, doing it all neat. And he's about to burn somebody's face off with <laughs> bullets. Yeah. Lila's going to regret find, finding out about those cleaners. Guys, Brendan what, sends the boys what, around. Why do we care? So he's actually got 62. I will mention that James miscounted there when he said 65. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. It's, it seems somewhat anticlimactic, and yet it's not when you get the deadly accounting yeah. of punitive. <laughs> Corporations, they're so dull. Even even their, their killing you is boring. <laughs> Look, this massive stack yeah. of money will pay for one. Let's get, let's get the accountants out before we, before we shoot you. Okay, double punitive it is. Yeah. So... In a a thrilling, uh, <laughs> thrilling repeat of the final of, of the Reading Steel Championship, uh, is Brendan who has the the punitive win once again. Uh, oh, that was pretty sweet. That was out of HP actually. Yeah. It was a real surprise. So, yeah. So um, yeah. So just in summary, I mean, uh, Brendan was playing a very deadly Blue Sun, uh, Murder Death Kill deck. We actually didn't see what the influence was. Maybe you will give away Brendan's secret and tell us. I couldn't possibly because he's still playing that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Then I will not. Uh, so we didn't see any interesting, um, significant use of it. The fact that we didn't see anything suggests it is very few and very major cards, like high influence cards. Um, I would be surprised if there's, for instance, a Janus, that kind of thing. High influence size. Yeah. James's Lila deck was quite interesting, but never really got going. Um, I uh, it seemed to be fairly standard criminal stuff. But the Lila came out. Uh, sorry, the Katie came out quite late. Couldn't get the economy. Sure. Um, solid, yeah. Um, so anyway, that was uh, that was game one of round one of the uh, Officers World Championship. Uh, and a three and win to Brendan. And um, we'll we'll see you next time for more footage in the Officers World Championship.